Now, from our previous discussion, now let's see how to compute the, the substitution effect <clears throat> under the income effect. Now, if we have a bundle which is X1 and X2, and of course we have the price PP under the income M, then the price of the first commodity or the good which is P1 price. Now we can be able to compute the substitution and the income effect from the change in the price. Now, if P1 is the new price for good one, then we have our income adjusted. So we have M prime, P1 prime X, and then P2 X2. Now, this is not the new budget constraint that we have. So the new budget, so we have the adjusted income when the, the price of wood one decreases, so it simply means means that we have an increase in the income. So we have a original budget constraint, which is M is equal to P1 to X2. Now we can plot the two equations. So if you subtract the two equations, this is what you will get. Because P X2 cancel each other, then we have M prime equal to X into P prime minus P1. Now, this is the change in the money income. So that is the change in the money income necessary to make the old bundle affordable at the new price. Which is simply the amount of consumption of wooden times the change in prices. In the price is given as P1 prime which is the new price minus P1, the old price. The price is given as P1 prime minus P1. Now the change in income is simply given by M prime. M prime is now the new income after the price has changed minus the old income, which is M. This the change in income that is necessary to make the bundle just affordable. Therefore, we can get the change in income, which is simply the change in the price multiplied by the dates of the cost. So this part here is important. Income and keep the old bundle up is simply in the place one is the units of wood one that is the change in income that is necessary to make the old bundle just affordable now you need to note that in income and the change the place will always move in the same direction So they will move in the same direction. So if the price goes up, then we have to raise income to keep the same bundle affordable. So in this case, if the price in reduces, if the price, we also need to adjust the income downwards so that the same bundle report with them. Although X 
support and the effect is still affordable. It's not generally to more the optimal purchase at the pivoted budget line. So the pivoted or the optimal purchase on the pivoted line will be given us. So we have this the original budget line. So we have the original budget line. And we have the pivoted budget line. So you can see we have the substitution effect and the income effect. So that is what we need to compute. So bundle Y is the optimal one. When they change the price and adjust income so as to keep the whole bundle. Of goods, so see where Y is. This Y, Y is here. It's attached, or where the budget line is attached to the indifference curve. So, so from X is known as the substitution effect. X is here. This is X I. This is what we as the substitution effect. So you are moving from point X to point Y. That is the substitution effect. And then from point Y to Z is what we refer to as the income. So it indicates how the consumer substitute would for the other. So the substitution is how it suits one good for the other. So when the price changes while adjusting income, the consumer's purchasing power. So if the price increases, for example, we may not them bundle or the original bundle the price is we need to so that the old the original bundle remains the same the you are currently the only person in this conference so Which is simply given as the change in commodity one or X one, simply the change in the demand for wood one when the price changes to P one. So if price changes, then change the quantity of commodity one is given. Perfect. And the same. The money income changes from M to M prime. And uh, that is what we refer to as the substitution effect. Now, the total change in would one is the substitution effect. So, the substitution effect would be by commodity one. New price and a minimum minus at the sorry commodity one at the old income and at the old price. So this is critically causing a substitution effect. So this gives you the substitution effect. But the substitution effect sometimes called the change in compensated demand. So you can call the substitution effect the change in demand. Now the idea is that the consumer is being compensated for a price change 
by having his income or her income adjusted accordingly. So if the price reduces, compensation is done by giving the consumer some more income. To make the same amount of a higher price. So if the price of wood one increases, then we will increase the consumer's income as original parts just affordable. This is what we a substitution effect. So we can have an illustration on how to compute the substitution effect. Now suppose the consumer has a demand function x given by the following function. The function is given as a function and income. Let's assume that the is 120 shillings per day and let the price of wood 1, that is wood x, be 3 shillings per unit. We can compute therefore the demand for wood one per day. That is the original demand at the current price and at the current level of income. So we can compute and compute the units of commodity X needed. So we see place the value of income in the equation and that of the price. So at the current price, so 14 units of commodity one are needed. Now the price of good one falls to two shillings. That is from three shillings to two shillings. Now the new demand. You are currently the, the only person in this conference. Will be given by the following. So at the new price, so the consumer has now more income and they can actually buy more than the previous amount. So at a reduced price, spend the units demanded. New price. So 16 units insert the values in that demand function. So you'll simply get 16 units. So we have seen as a result of the price action, the point of use, the units that can be put have increased from 14 to 16. Now the total change in the demand <coughs> is simply an increase by two units of commodity X per day. So if the price reduces, then the consumer is able to buy two more extra units. Now, in order to calculate the substitution effect, we must first calculate by now how much income in order to make the original demand of 14 units just affordable when the price two units. So remember the change in like this. So the change in income by the units of the two one times the change in the price of it. So the change is two minus is negative times the unit that is the unit of commodity x so the change is simply to that is to keep chasing our constant that is to make the original consumption rate just affordable 
is given by m plus the change in m, which is simply 120 minus 14. So it gives you 106 as the new m. So this income that is required to make the original consumption fund just sort up. Now the consumer demand function or the consumer demand at the new price two and the new you now is one or six. So at the new price new come of one six, so we can also get the of goods that is required at price. We have the new amount demanded is computed as follows using the new demand function. So we have the new income and the new price. So you have what? 15.3 the new demand for commodity X. Now from here we can now compute the, the substitution effect using the equations that we have discussed earlier for computing the substitution effect. Now using this equation, the substitution effect is given by this, <coughs> which is the at new price and at the new income minus the demand at the old price and the old um so the substitute will then as can compute the substitution effect Fifteen and three and four. The effect is simply one point three. This is the substitution effect. <coughs> So using this equation, because we have the values that we need, so you can compute the substitution effect as simple as that. The demand at the original price and the original income is 14. And the demand at the new price and the new income is 15.3. That's what we have just computed. But therefore, the substitution given us the demand at the new price and the new income as demand at the original <coughs> now we can also proceed and compute the income effect so we have looked at by foot, by foot of the left line. Now the second stage of the price adjustment is a shift. So the budget line simply shifts. So the parallel shift of the budget line is movement. While the Remains constant. Now the second adjustment is called the income effect. We have seen from the diagram here, can look at it once again and see. So here, 
this departure line simply now shifts. It shifts outwards. That is now what we refer to as a substitution effect. That is the second stage of the price adjustment. So when it shifts outwards, it is a change as income from back to keep the price constant. Now, from the diagram, it's simply a movement from point Y to point Z. So this is simply the last movement, the income effect, and it's referred to as the income effect. Because what we are doing is simply changing income while keeping the price the new prices. Now, precisely the income if the change in the demand for good one, some changes to M prime. Sorry, when the income changes M prime, the price of good one cost. Now, the equation for computing the income effect is given by this equation. So the income effect, you can see, is seen as the demand at price and minus the demand at the new income and at the new price. This expression is very important. So how do you compute the income effect? So that is computed by using the equation that is. Now the income effect of a price change either way. So the income effect can be positive or negative. Now, it will increase or decrease the demand for good one, depending on whether good one is normal or inferior. It can decrease or increase demand for good one. Some pressing constant. Now, if more, then this decrease in income will lead to decrease in demand. Food is inferior, and the income will lead to increase in and statements that you need to and for, for a normal group will lead to a decrease in the quantity demanded but for an inferior good an increase or a decrease in income will lead to an increase in demand We can use our previous example to compute the income effect. Now, a new price, the old income, we compute that when the price changes, holding the income constant, the consumer could purchase 16 units. And at the new income and at the new price, we have computed that the consumer can buy three units. Now use our for 
plotting the substitution effect, which is given here. So our substitution effect is therefore given as 16 minus 15.3, which is simply 0.7. So this gives us the substitution effect, sorry, the income effect. So you need to check those two formulas for computing the substitution effect and the income effect. Now, given the information, you will be able to compute the substitution effect and the income effect. Now, this simply shows that since the demand for good X increases, when income increases, then good X is simply a normal good because the income effect is. So we can look at sign of a substitution effect. So when you are computing the substitution effect, is it positive or negative? Now the substitution effect always moves opposed to the price movement. This is important. So it is said to be always negative since the change in the demand due to the substitution is opposite to the change. The substitution effect is always negative. The price changes in the opposite direction so the substitution effect and the price if effect so if the price increases then the substitution effect will be negative if the sub if the price reduces the effect will be positive so if the increase in or price is the demand for good due to substitution effect decrease. So these are important statements. So just know that an increase in the price, so for an increase in the price, the substitute would be negative. But decrease in the price, the substitution effect would be positive. That's why when we are computing our substitution effect, so the substitution effect here, you can see it's positive because it is a reduction. If it was a price increase, our substitution effect would be negative. So the substitution effect moves the opposite direction as the price change. Now, having discussed the substitution effect, um, effect, we can now compute the total change. So how do you find the total change? Now, the total change in demand is the change in the demand due to the change in the price. Due to the change in the price, holding Income constant. What we refer to as the total change is simply the change in the price holding income constant. We have this. Now the, the total change is simply given as of the substitute effect and the income effect. That is what gives you total change. So expression is 
the so it's simply what we refer to as the total change you know what is the substitution rate. you also know what is the income effect now the total change which is simply change in the demand at the price and the income as the demand at the new price at the old price and the old income is simply the sum of the substitution effect plus in effect to the total now the total change can be positive or negative depending on the magnitude of the income effect and substitution effect. Now, this equation seems that the total change in demand equals the substitution effect plus income effect. And uh, the change is to refer to as the last but the slask is identity. Slask is identity simply the total change are talking about, which is in pi, the sum of the in effect with the substitution effect. So the first hand right, the four terms on the right hand side cancel out so that the right hand side identity equals to the left hand side. So you can see. From the equation. So that's what we refer to as the case this last case entity is simply the sum of the substitution effect and the so if you have identities or equations so you'll get what to refer to as the last case identity so where do we use ask it or equation so this equation is important of the income and the substitution effect can be used in line of the total effect. So which in turn refill of the now in simple terms the total effect tells us whether a good is normal whether a good is more or inferior. We look at the sign of the total effect, which I guess can be positive or negative. So that tells you whether the good is normal or inferior. The substitution effect is always negative to the price. The income effect can equal can go either way. So which simply means that the total effect can either be positive or negative. Now we can look at the signs of the total effect for normal goods and for inferior goods. So if a good is normal, the substitution effect works in the same direction. So for normal goods, the substitution effect goes or works in the same direction. So which simply means that any increase will mean amount due to the substitution effect. So if the price goes up, that is a decrease in income. 
for normal goods, which means those so in terms of the notations, the change in demand due to price increase means the change in the price so the change in the demand for that good is given as the sum of the usual effect plus the sum of income effect. So for this, the income effect is positive. So we have said that for normal goods, it depends on the change in the price, whether it's an increase or a decrease. So for inferior good effect is positive. Income likely to increase the quantity demanded for that commodity. And an income in the demand for that commodity. In effect is positive. So the total effect is given by the equation here of good. Now the second right hand, that is the in effect. Last term of the right hand side. So you can see the substitution effect in the case of uh, inferior goods is larger than the income effect. And that makes the total change to be negative. So the total change for inferior goods negative, which implies that a for the price is to a uh, demand. Total change is proof. So for given goods, the second term on the right hand side, which is the income effect, is positive but large enough to change so that the total change is positive. So a given good, the income effect which overdoes the substitution effect is actually positive. So for inferior goods, the total change is positive. So you need to understand, okay, for normal goods, the total change is positive. And for NVIDIA goods, the total change is also negative. But for a given good, the total change is positive. Now, finally, on our function, or on the total change under the income effect and the substitution effect, we can mention something of X substitute effect. It's the name that economists give to the change in demand when the price change and the, the consumer's purchasing power is held stand. This income is a constant. That no bundle means affordable. And that definition is what we have actually described as the Slasky's substitution effect. Now, suppose that instead of by voting the patch line around original consumption bundle, so the panel is sold around the indifference curve. So 
you can see. So instead of by voting the budget line, we can now roll the budget line along the same difference curve. Now the budget line is bifurcated around the indifference curve rather than around the original choice. The consumer's purchasing power will no longer be the sufficient to purchase the original bundle of goods, but sufficient to purchase that is just indifferent is or a original bundle. Now this means that substitute effect keeps the youth level constant rather than keeps the utility constant rather than making power constant and that's what we refer to as the x substitution effect so the x substitution effect simply keeps the consumer at the same level of substitution rather than the consumer at purchasing power. So it simply makes the consumer remain at the same level of elite, you know, on the level of the different sorry, the budget line. Now this last substitution effect gives the consumer enough money to get back to his original level of consumption, while the X substitution effect gives the consumer enough money to get back to his difference curve that is of satisfaction. Now, despite the difference in the definition, it turned out that the X substitution effect must be negative in the sense that it is a direction opposed that of the price change, just like the Slask's identity. 